Good morning. Welcome to day 10, our last day we're heading out. It's about eight in the morning. We actually set an alarm this morning just so we could get a decent start. Had some friendly um, chats with backpackers this morning, talking about all the drama last night, but then talking about trips and other things, which was cool. And we are, you can see yes. Stony Indian Pass for the last time. The last Such little section. Such a beautiful view. Our last really good view, I think. Yep. And we are going to make our way to the Chief Mountain Trailhead. Up, so up, up. We're looking forward to some sort of civilization. We've got a state park campsite book, but maybe something else will develop. We'll see. <laughs> Here comes Brian across the hiker bridge at um, the Belly River. Uh, you'll remember we crossed this on our first day on our way into Glen's foot. And now we're on our way back to the car. Day 10, it's around noon. We've been climbing switchbacks for a while and now we're getting super close to the parking lot, probably another five to 800 feet away. So almost to the trailhead. Probably the sweatiest we've been just climbing for most of the morning. So we just started getting to the parking lot. It was a lot of switchbacks on the way up. I just kept telling myself, we're almost there. It's just a little further. So we're here. Um, we'll do another little video with the car, but I think we'll see the horses that passed us earlier, but there's the sign. All right, it's day 10, we're out, but um, we didn't take a video of this on the way in. We just want to get going, but this is the border we crossed five years ago. And we walked across. Second glacier hike. And we got yelled at by the <laughs> customs officer for cutting through traffic, but um, everything is boarded up. I think since COVID it's been closed. Yeah, it's just, I think this, or there's staffing, from what I've read, there's staffing issues. Yeah. Um, so they can't staff it, so. Yeah, so there you have it, closed border. Closed. We can't put our feet in the Canada today. <laughs> Day 10. We got a hotel. 4.30 in Kalispell. We just decided we had a state park campsite, but- My back sore. So. Sarah's back sore and I won't say no to a hotel. <laughs> so the hill, we like looked around all different ones, but it ends up for like the lower tier ones that we looked at for basically 40 bucks more a night with some points and our comfort where we know the Wi-Fi is going to work and everything's going to be the way we like it. We just splurged for the Hampton Inn in Kalispell. There was one in Whitefish, but the Whitefish one was like almost a hundred bucks more a night. So. Right, so we can drive up there. We like Whitefish. That's where yeah. my massage is in Whitefish. There's a yarn store I want to go to and the coffee shop that we likes there, but we can go spend the day there tomorrow and then come back. Yeah. This is very, I mean, this is a nice hotel, so. And we found the restaurant that we ordered dinner from the two nights we were in Butte. It's a, like Montana chain and there's one near here and they do 
deliveries, so we're gonna so also get delivery. I like never get delivery. <laughs> Especially it's only like two miles away. I think we're gonna but. do it. Cause I mean, I would tip the takeout people and at this point you're tipping them anyway, so I might as well tip the delivery driver. Um, so that's the plan. We're gonna get cleaned up, get our contacts out, get things charging, get videos uploaded. Yep. And uh, we might check in one more time tonight or You'll be tomorrow for the Ray Lakes Loop 60 prologue. Lakes Basin Prologue day one. <laughs> but this is a wrap for Glacier. We might come back with just a little, one more little thing with all of our, with our bounty of food. <laughs> but um, other than that, we'll see you later.